If you want to talk empties for the month of August, then stick around. Hi there, it's that time again. It is time for empties. As I mentioned in the teaser, we are going to take a look at all of the products for August. We'll talk about everything that I finished or am getting rid of, and there's quite a bit. I think I have 16 items to show you. Let's start with the small stuff, which I have in this little bag here. I'll just empty it out and we'll get started. First up, I have a 15 pack of the Life brand. Those are little facial uh, cleansing wipes. And they were a pack that I got in a just a large box of all sorts of items. And they're facial wipes. I was using them mostly uh, to wipe off my arm during swatches. I did not tend to use them all that much just for daily face wipes, although I did use some for that purpose. I find face wipes kind of wasteful, so I would just prefer to use a regular cleanser. But they were they were fine. 100% um, plant-based fibers. I guess that's good. Three-in-one, uh, just the regular life brand. Nothing much to say about it. They're regular face wipes. Next one is I finished the oil control cleanser called Find Your Balance by Ulla Henriksen. And that was a product that I used during my focus on Ulla Henriksen. If you want to know how that went, I'll put the video right there. Yeah, happy to have finished it. I would prefer not having the oil control, but it was a cleanser that came in as part of a kit. It's fine. I tend to be more uh, on the dry skin, so I tended to use this one more in the T-zone where I do have some, some oil. So yeah, perfectly fine. I have to say though, I would not repurchase because I don't tend to pay hefty prices for cleansers. I don't think it's very w worthwhile. I'm using right now the Squalane cleanser from The Ordinary, and I have also used a variety of different Sephora cleansers, all of which I endorse. Next up, I have finished the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. I am uh, definitely, I have repurchased it already. I have a backup of this ready in the wings, but right now I am using a couple of retinol products by The Ordinary. So I'm going to be comparing that to what I find, uh, how I find this Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair works. This is my staple. So yes, I would definitely recommend. I have four eye products to show you. This one is the Rimmel, Rimmel I think. Where's your name? Yeah, Rimmel. It's called the 24 hour color precise eyeliner. That's what it looks like. And the applicator. It looks very, very much like the um, Sephora. It, oh, it still has some in here. It was supposed to be dried up and it's not. So I was going to tell you that this was dried up because the cap fell off. And I tried at the time that I found it with the cap off that it, the liner wasn't working anymore, but it obviously is. So this is an unempty. <laughs> what, a, what an awesome surprise. So I'm gonna put this one back. That is fantastic. I was disappointed because I had almost not worn that liner and as it turns out, it is not dried out. I guess putting the cap back on, it, it kind of, the, the product started coming back out on the, the tip and not drying out. Okay, one unempty. That's never happened to me before. Okay, moving on. I also have the Anastasia Brow Gel, Clear Brow Gel. So the, um, the applicator looks like this. And it is great. This is a mini. And I am right now using a full size because I finished this one and I do like this brow gel. I have had the chance to get a few other brow gels, high-end brow gels for half off, but I'm going to wait because I'm working on a, a full one. I'm going to wait until this comes out during Christmas. Usually there's a kind of half off sale with this and a brow is. That's the duo I'm going to wait for uh, because I would rather get obviously a clear brow gel for half price but I really, really like this product. I just wouldn't pay full price. 
That's my theme though. If you have been on this channel for a while, you would know that I'm very opportunistic when it comes to replenishing and just make sure that I have enough for, you know, three to six months of something that I know I like so that I'm not uh, having to buy anything because I'm kind of stuck. Next up though is a product that I am, well it's, I finished it but I'm not super enthused about it and it is the and the Essence uh, Lash and Brow and I still have a little bit of product in here but it's, it's, um, it doesn't really work. So I was using this along with the ABH Clear Brow Gel and basically finishing up with the ABH Clear Brow Gel, I wouldn't really recommend this. I have another one that I haven't touched and I think I'm going to hand it off to a friend just so she can kind of get an idea of what a clear brow gel is like. But for me who uses a lot of tint in her brow, it just, it doesn't really work. It's, um, it's kind of gross because it, the, the color goes into the tube. So if you don't do anything with your brows, you just want a gel to keep them in place, you might like this. It's not a very strong hold. I prefer a strong hold, which is why I like the ABH Clear Brow Gel. Um, but the price is right. This is about four bucks Canadian. It's very, very inexpensive. I think at most it's $6. I, I really think it's okay if you like a light hold and you're not filling in your brows or you don't care about the discoloration. That was a long explanation. Let's see if I can shorten it up for this one. This is the Lise Wattier V Element. I have talked about this mascara quite a bit because I've worn it over the last couple of months. I like it. It works really well. This is uh, was obviously a sample and it's now just a little bit too thick for me and it's starting to have a little bit of flaking just because it's old. It works great. I don't think it's so, it, it didn't knock my socks off to the point where I would buy a full size. Um, if it came on sale, like a crazy sale at maybe $10 or $15, nah, $12 maybe, I would probably purchase this mascara, but I seriously doubt it's going to end up at that kind of a discount. It is a high-end brand. Lise Wetsy is a high-end Canadian brand. Now available, by the way, for uh, Canadian Sephora shoppers. It's also at Sephora, not only at Shoppers Drug Mart. And yeah, it's a fine mascara. I also finished, as you would have seen in some um, panning videos, I finished the Joe Fresh Lip Balm in Pecan, or Pecan, depending where you're from. And this lip balm I really, really enjoy. It, uh, I have a bunch of different colors, but this is definitely my favorite color. And they were discontinuing them at Shoppers Drug Mart, and they were ten dollars. I got this for about a dollar fifty after a coupon discount, a dollar fifty. So I'm I'm sad to see it gone, but I'm glad for that clearance because I never would have had a chance to try it. I just never would have picked it up for eight or ten dollars. That would have been just too much for me for a lip balm, right? But it, it works really well. If you have a chance to nab some of these, especially pecan, I think, or pecan, is a fantastic color. It I think it would be flattering on most skin tones. Really, really a nice lip balm. So it was very comfortable to wear and then you had color on top of it. So yeah, really nice. I even, I even wear uh, these lip balms. I have about a, a dozen of them, uh, different colors. I even wear this at night to moisturize my lips. That's how comfortable it is. Now on to the bigger stuff. I have finished this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. And as you can tell, finished a big bottle. This is my default makeup remover, uh, waterproof makeup remover. I like Garnier, it works fine. This is a 400 ml and I get it for about $8, which is a fantastic price. It's $8 and then I get about 30% off on top of that regularly at Shoppers Drug Mart. I highly recommend this. I think it works very, very well along with a regular face cleanser. And yeah, I have no, I have no complaints. It works fine. And I have compared it to the Lancôme Be Facile and I think it works just as well uh, without the sticker shock. Next up is the Gliss Hair Repair from Schwarzkopf. And this is my favorite. When I tried this ages ago, this was last year in the teen box. I'll put the video right here. I didn't like it in my review. I did not like it as far as I remember. And But now that I've discovered I love to try to promote my curly hair. 
it is a really good product, but they don't carry it anymore at Shoppers Drug Mart, so I'm going to have to get it online. So I tried a different product. Let me show you the product I tried. I tried this John Frieda Frizzies leave-in conditioner, and it is not the same, but I bought it for the sale price that I was able to get Gliss. And, um, you know, if I were to repurchase before they disappeared from Shoppers Drug Mart, and I bought three bottles of this because it was $5.99, which is a fantastic price. And I am going to live with that decision for uh, months to come because it's not as good, but it's okay. And because it's okay, I can't justify not using what I've purchased. I think that would be really wasteful and I don't really want to pass it along. So that is what I'm going to be using probably for, like I said, the, in the next, I, I figure three months, one month per bottle, or maybe even longer, maybe up to the end of the year, uh, or late August, and well, that's, that's just possibly what I'll be using for quite a while. So just to finish up, if you like your hair to be as curly as possible, this Gliss product, I think at most you'll pay 12 bucks, is, I, I definitely endorse it. Next up is a body butter that I finished. I finished another one and it is the Triple Citrus from Delectable and I definitely finished it. There's nothing in, can you see? There's nothing really left and really, really enjoyed it. Uh, this is my second tub uh, this in less than a half a year and oh, it smells so good. It, it really smells good. I just wanted to finish it because it is an older body butter in my um, collection and, well, collection, in my stash. And I do I do recommend it. It is a Canadian brand. It is, what do they call it? Uh, yeah, created in Canada and cruelty-free vegan. And they talk about the fact that it is all, all natural. So um, shea butter, orange, tangerine, and grapefruit oils. That's what gives it the smell and no parabens, uh, phthalates, mineral oil, GMOs, petro petrolatum, or triclosan, triclosan, I guess. And it's 200 ml. I, and you can get it on sale for as little as $7.99 or $8.99. So very, very good product at a very affordable price. And all the products that I talk about when I give you pricing, it's Canadian dollars, just in case you're, you haven't heard it so far. Next is this dry oil moisture from Dove. And I was not keen on this because of the smell. It has a very masculine smell. And I put it in the shower for my husband to use. And then I just started using it because I thought, well, he's not using it. I might as well use it up. He just likes bar soap. And so I used it up. I did like the oil in the moisturizer. It did help and so yeah I finished it and I was down to very very little so I turned the bottle upside down and finished it as a hand wash yeah it's it's I would not repurchase because of the smell but the product itself performed really well I also had a little bit left so I finished this bottle of this Olay ultra moisture and it is with uh, what's it called um, ultra hydrant uh, Shea butter. There we go. Shea butter. I really like this body wash. Uh, it smells really nice. Like really, really nice. And tech usually, I was going to say technically, but usually Olay products are very moisturizing. They're, and they're gentle on the skin for the most part, as far as my experience with the brand. And I would, I would definitely repurchase this. The smell and the performance is very, very good. And I really like the flat top, which means you can leave it upside down in the shower and you don't have to fight with the bottle to get the product out. Next up, I have a hair item, and this is the Garnier Fructis Style Big Volume Hairspray. It is a mega bottle at, what is it, 413 mil, very big. It lasts for months if you're not a huge uh, hairspray user. I use it, I use the hairspray pretty much every day. And it, even though it says big volume, I used it very often to slick back a ponytail for when I do some training. And I don't, yeah, I don't want to have to fix my hair to just train some folks for two to four hours. And so even though it says it's for volume, 
it worked for volume and also for good hold because it you'll see it on the bottom it says volume but also extreme uh, strong hold and that's what I was using it for it is a very affordable hairspray and I will definitely repurchase I just have I think three other bottles of hairspray that uh, I need to use up and so there's no point in their higher end stuff too I really need to use up there's no point in me repurchasing this right away I will get through the other ones but definitely this is a hairspray that is on my list of definite um, good hairsprays don't quote me on it but I think I paid something like five bucks for that big bottle it's really really affordable again probably on sale that's it. Those are all my empties for the month of August. I hope you found some of the information I provided on these different products useful. If you have experience with any of these products and you have similar or different views about these products, please leave me a comment below. Or if there is a category of product that I mentioned and you think there's a better product out there, you have a personal favorite, I would love to hear it as well. I'm always looking to try new products and recommendations because that's how we find new holy grails. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Fluff.